All right, let's let's do it. Let's get started. So uh, first and foremost, thank you everybody for joining me this morning or uh, afternoon, I guess, depending on where you are. And hopefully you're all recovering nicely from Halloween and that sugar coma. Um, I'm excited to be here for our second webinar on how to use Cloud App like a pro. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Kat and I've been with the team here for a little over a year. And a big part of my role is really to work with our users and to make sure that they're getting the most out of Cloud App. So hopefully today you can learn something new about Cloud App that will make your life a little bit easier. Today we're going to cover a mix of things uh, that are brand new to Cloud App and some that maybe aren't so new but uh, aren't as obvious. And uh, I'm excited to give you all a sneak peek at something new that we're working on. But if you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to submit them and we will get to them at the end. One of those brand new things I just mentioned is how easy we've made it to grab embed codes. So we kept hearing from people that we wanted that you guys wanted us to make it a little bit easier for you to copy the HTML embed code to embed straight onto a website or help center. So uh, you might have noticed this while viewing any of your drops from within your browser, but if not, you can find this little button on the top right corner of the browser view. And in a couple clicks, you've got the embed code copied to your clipboard, so you can easily embed those media files publicly. There's another way to grab this embed code, and that is from within the app itself. So you can go ahead and go in and find the more option and select copy HTML embed code on any of your drops. If you're sitting there and you're thinking, how would I even use this? Uh, I recommend taking a look at your website or help center and consider if you can supplement or even replace text-based explanations with visuals. Adding GIFs, screenshots, or even HD videos to your website or documentation is a great way to capture attention and explain a technical process or solution. For example, we found that adding visuals to a help center or a knowledge base can help deflect incoming support tickets and free up those support agents for some other more important projects. Or maybe adding context to marketing emails can help peak interest in a new feature or product release. Even adding HD videos such as a tutorial or webinar directly to your website can help your customers or prospective customers get a little bit more information uh, about you or your solution. Annotations aren't necessarily new for us, but they might be for you. So uh, you can access these uh, straight from the app itself or by using the keyboard shortcuts, and that's Command-Shift-A on Mac or Alt-Shift-Zero on Windows. Using that keyboard shortcut will open up the capture crosshairs, and once you select the area you want to capture, this annotation window is going to pop up before it uploads to Cloud Apps. There's no waiting. And you can just go right ahead and add text, or add arrows, lines, boxes, circles, even blur out sensitive information, and of course, emojis. And once you're done with your creation, you can either drag that file directly from the annotation window itself, or go ahead and press save to indicate that you're finished with your work and would like to upload to get that short link. Another new release for us here uh, is webcam plus screen recording. So while we've always had the ability to record your screen or record your webcam, now we've got the best of both worlds. So this is still accessible by the same shortcuts as a regular screen recording, so that's Command-Shift-6 on Mac. And for the Windows users that are out there, uh, please be patient with us as we work on bringing this to the Windows app, uh, hopefully early next year. But just to give you some idea of what it looks like, You can select the area of your uh, webcam capture, or I'm sorry, of your screen recording capture that you want the webcam to appear in. 
And then once you press start, you're gonna get a nice little countdown to make sure you're looking your best for the camera. And you can toggle this on and off by clicking the little camera icon right next to the microphone icon. So you can pick and choose when to show your webcam or turn it off for those days that you'd maybe rather not. Uh, we'll leave that decision up to you. Either way, uh, this is a great way to add just another touch of personalization when sending videos to clients, customers, or, or teammates. And as more and more teams go remote or maybe expand to global offices, I know CloudApp is one of those teams, um, being able to show your face while explaining a concept can make it feel a lot more personalized. Or even uh, sharing this with a, a customer or a prospect can make them feel as though you're giving them the attention and personalization that they deserve. And real quick to note, if you don't recognize these buttons on your Mac app um, and feel like you might be missing something, just make sure to head to our website and download the latest version of Cloud App to make sure you're all up to date. This is something fairly quick and simple, but also something we hear a lot. So if you've ever said, man, Cloud App is amazing and life-changing and I never wanna live without it, but I'd really rather have the content itself copied to my clipboard instead of the share link, this slide is for you. Head into your preferences and specify whether you'd rather have the, or, or specify which you'd rather have copied to your clipboard. So you can choose between a share link, direct link, a download link, or the content itself. Ink.com actually referred to us once as the Snapchat for the enterprise. And what would Snapchat be if it weren't for their expiring content? If you ever find yourself sharing sensitive information, whether that's customer data, payment information, top secret product updates, or just any link that you'd rather not have available for a long period of time, go ahead and set these security settings just to make sure that your information isn't falling into the wrong hands. You can add a password or specify only specific people via email, only people within your organization, and on top of that, set expiration settings based on the number of views or the amount of time. When it comes to Cloud App, we really want you to own your experience. So we do the best we can to give you the options to customize your account. Everything from where your content is stored, how it's shared, and what it looks like when it's shared. For example, if you are on a free plan or if you're on a paid plan and just haven't taken the time to customize your account, this is what your Cloud App links look like to non-Cloud App users. Now we've put mentions of Cloud App all over this page. Uh, we really like our, our name and our logo, but I totally understand if you don't like it as much and I really encourage you to brand this page and make it your own. On our paid plans, you can change the domain, the logo, remove all signs of Cloud App branding entirely, I promise we won't be mad, um, and make this look like it's coming directly from you rather than a third party application. Lastly, I want to take some time to show off some of the integrations our team has been working on. Uh, we're really on a mission to make your daily workflow as efficient as possible, and that means integrating with the solutions that you use on a daily basis. The first is our Zendesk integration, which is going to allow you to insert uh, images or GIFs directly into a Zendesk ticket, which will start playing automatically when your customer opens up the ticket. Next is JIRA, um, and by adding a piece of context to a JIRA ticket, we found that it can help uh, really lead to a, a fix a lot faster. Just there's no back and forth of, hey, I didn't see that, I can't reproduce it, where did you find this? All the context, context is right there added to a ticket, so it reduces a lot of the back and forth and you can get to a quick, much fix, get to a, a fix much quicker. Next, we've got our Trello power-up. So very similar to the last two, just add some more context to your, your Trello cards and your Trello boards. And 
This one's newer for us. For all of you Sketch users out there, now you can export straight to Cloud App. So instead of having to export, download, upload, reshare somewhere else, um, just click that export to Cloud App button and get a link generated for you so you can share that quickly. Another new one for us is HipChat. So add context into your, your HipChat chats. And before I let you guys go, I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of something that we've been working on. And since I've started, there's been one thing on everybody's mind, and that is folders. So we keep hearing that you guys want a way to organize your files and even share amongst teammates. So what I'm showing here is, is what we're calling collections. And if you notice on the left side of the screen here, I've got a couple personal collections that I use to share some of my own content or, or organize some of my own content. But we've also got a, a shared collection that we share amongst all of our team members here at CloudApp so that when they join the team, it's a, it's a quick and easy way to give them access to all of the content that we've already created. So no one's starting from scratch here. This is something that I'm personally really excited about and I know just from the conversations that we've had from other people and our users, I know you guys are excited about this too. Um, and, and we're hoping this is going to be released at the end of this year or early next, but just couldn't wait to give you all a preview. And if you want any more information on this or would like to become a beta tester, uh, feel free to let me know. And that's it for me. That's all I've got for you guys today. Um, I think we're going to take some time for questions, but if there's anything that we don't get to or you're looking for some more information, you can find it either on our website at getcloudapp.com or feel free to email me at any point at cat at cl.ly. All right. Thanks, Kat. Uh, this begins the question portion of our webinar, and this is Olivia taking over for Scott today. And, you know, I really have always thought I looked more like a Scott anyway. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> Um, the first question um, from one of our users for you, Kat, is can you blur part of a video that was recorded, for example, entering credit cards? Great question. Right now you can blur on uh, GIFs, so that, that's an option there. Nice. Okay. Um, another question. Uh, someone says, I don't see the webcam option when I start a screen recording. What should I do? Ooh, just go ahead and make sure that your Cloud App account is up to date. Uh, this feature is available, like I mentioned, on Mac. So if you're not seeing it and you're on the Mac app, you might just need a quick update. If you're a Windows user, uh, bear with us while we work on making that a, a great experience for you as well and hope to release that uh, early next year. Great. All right, next, is the embed feature available with the free plan? It is, yes. Embed is available to all users. So go ahead and, and get started with that one. Okay. Can I annotate a video? Yes, right now um, uh, annotations are available for GIFs only. Gotcha. Okay. Can you record your webcam also with GIFs? You can, yes, um, but just something to note, if you're gonna do that, uh, GIFs don't support audio, so uh, if you'd like to just have your webcam there while you're recording a GIF, go for it, but if you wanna add uh, a voiceover recording, I think stick to HD. Nice. How do I get CloudApp into my Zendesk account? Great question. Um, if you are a admin of your Zendesk account, you can head to the Zendesk marketplace and look for Cloud App. Um, if you're not an admin of Zendesk, make sure to ask the admin to enable it for you. Okay. In my Mac app, there's a search bar. When I try to search for a document, it opens a web page. It would be helpful if I could search for a document on my list in the app so I can quickly access the link. Is that an option? I totally hear you on that and I am 100% in agreement. Um, our hope is to make the entire cloud app experience a native experience, so doing away with the web page entirely. Um, stay tuned for that and, and bear with us while we work on making that a, a better experience for you. Okay. Will the shared files feature be free when it finally comes out? It will, yes. Great question. 
Is there a way to crop your image before taking a screenshot? Um, there's not a way to crop it before taking a screenshot, um, but there is a way to crop it in the annotations feature. So if you know you want to take a screenshot and crop it, use those keyboard shortcuts, either Command Shift A or Alt Shift Zero, and you can crop from the annotations. Cool. Nice. Are there any plans for choosing which collection to drop uploads into as you make them? Great question. Uh, these are these are all great questions. You guys are good. Um, collections is still very much in beta for us. So like I said, if you want to be a beta tester, we're very much looking for feedback on ways to make this a, a, an, a great experience for everybody. So why don't you shoot me an email to whoever that was um, and, and I can add your name to our beta tester list. Awesome. Are there any plans to integrate Cloud App with Help Scout? What about Zapier? Yes, yes and yes. Um, those are two that we have talked about frequently internally um, and, and hopefully get to those in 2018. Okay. All right, that wraps up our questions. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, and keep in mind, this will be recorded and sent out to you shortly. So if you've missed any part of this or feel like one of your friends might benefit from hearing more, keep on the lookout for that and we'll be in touch soon. Thanks everyone.